paint protection film. Thought we'd have a little discussion about it. Uh, in particular, talk about um, what to look for if you're thinking about adding paint protection film to your car. Now let's address the elephant in the room, and that is the room here. This is our new video studio. Uh, we got a new building uh, here across the street from our existing building. This is our tint studio marketing team, our new home for doing these type of videos. I wanna talk about this little guy right here. This is something that we're going to discuss a little bit later on in the video, so stay tuned. We got a good story behind this. This video, we're not getting into the details of what paint protection film does for you. We've got a great video uh, already we've done. We will link you accordingly. You can go check that out. If you're a person who hasn't had paint protection film done, or maybe you had it done a long time ago, you don't really have a frame of reference, of the difference in good quality and low quality, we're gonna help walk you through that process to understand what the difference is between a good quality install and a poor quality install. And I see these conversations, you know, Facebook groups or, or forums or whatever. The first thing people are talking about is, I found paint protection film for X price. Is this a good price? I'm telling you, that is not the first thing that you should be looking at when it comes to paint protection film. It's just like anything that, that you get. You know, do you always wanna go for the lowest bidder? Um, what kind of quality work are you gonna get? The skill or the craft of paint protection film installation. How talented is somebody? What kind of work do they do? What kind of cars do they specialize in? How long have they been uh, doing it? You've got the film itself. And yes, like everything else, there's different grades of film. Most of the stuff on the market readily available today you know, it's all self-healing. They all have a really good warranty on it. The big difference you start getting into is clarity of the film, and that's another subject that I can talk about for about 15 minutes. The film does matter, but it's not your leading aspect or thing that you should be looking at um, when you're thinking about having a, a film installed. Really, the biggest differentiator there is going to be how skilled that person is. Most of the time, that skill level is gonna be directly related to the cost. So if you're going out there and you're just trying to find out who is the cheapest installer, you could be really missing out. You wanna go see their work in person. Is it a nice, clean facility? If it's not, then you're probably gonna have a lot of debris that ends up um, underneath the film. What are they doing with those edges after they wrap them? You know, Because you can take a, a bunch of extra material on the side and wrap it around and it not be clean uh, on the underside. Are they doing full patterns? Are they doing standard patterns or modified patterns? Are they doing custom uh, work? Having the ability to do customized patterns, that means you've worked on a certain car for a long time. You really know how to take the patterns that the manufacturer has provided and make some changes to it to get a cleaner install. Edges, you know, some areas where two body panels come together, you wanna to be able to see a nice clean edge that's consistent. You don't want one a quarter inch uh, off and one that's, you know, kind of uh, overlapping. You wanna take a look at the surface of the film. Is it super grainy looking compared to the paint? Do you have what I like to call stretch marks? Those are work marks. They, they, they've moved the film and it's distorted the adhesive uh, underneath. If you get film on your car that looks bad, yeah, it's protected, but it looks bad. It's not there designed to enhance the looks of the car, but it shouldn't be taking away from the looks of the car either. You know, if they're installing around emblems, how symmetrical is it around the emblem or is it offset there a little bit? Or a lot of cases like, you know, with, with us here at Esoteric, on most of the cars that we're doing, we remove the factory uh, emblem, lay down the film, and then we have built a template so we can put a brand new emblem right back uh, over top of it. Those little details make a big, big difference. Now, you might have been thinking throughout uh, this whole time, what's this goofy looking thing over here uh, on the table? This is what I call a ball of shame when it relates to paint protection film. This was um, a customer, they had their new C8 Corvette wrapped cheaply. It was only three panels. It was the hood, it was the two fenders, because the company couldn't do the front bumper. The car came to us to finish up uh, more paint protection film, and this is all of the stuff that we trimmed off of just three panels after they had done all of their trimming. Uh, looking at the hood, they wrapped the edges, but you know they wrapped inches underneath and just left everything flapping in there. There were areas on the panels where film is just kind of sticking over, nothing was trimmed off of it. There were work marks everywhere. You know, you can see all these distortions. There's debris everywhere in it, so they did it in a dirty environment. 
and the quality of film was not good in the least bit. It was really grainy and it had patchiness and stuff uh, in it. So we went in, fixed all the stuff that we could for the customer. Um, we finished the front bumper and uh, the rest of the high impact uh, areas on it. But that should be a telltale sign for you right there, that there's a big difference. Now, more expensive doesn't always mean better quality. We always know that. But all things being equal, you get a higher quality shop that have been doing it for a long time. They've got very skilled uh, installers. You're going to get a really clean install. So moral of the story here, if you're looking to have paint protection film uh, uh, installed, don't just look at price. Go into the shop that's doing the install. Take a look at the work that they're doing. Ask to see work that was just finished. Once again, it's still in the shop in those kind of lighting conditions because outside you can, you can hide some things. Well, hopefully this gives you a much better understanding of paint protection film. Here at Esoteric, we have a complete team of artisans that are highly trained, highly skilled, along with people that, that do separate work on quality control and on pattern making. We'd love to help you out here in the Central Ohio area or shipping your car in. If you've got a C8 Corvette and it's being uh, purchased anywhere here in the Central Ohio area, get it over here to us at Esoteric. We will do a fantastic job of it. As always, we appreciate you hanging out with us here at the Esoteric channel. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.